Cambodian sweet and sour soup, one of my most favorite soup. Growing up, I enjoyed this soup quite often. This soup could be a main meal with or without rice. If you prefer potatoes instead of rice, just add a few pieces of fingling potatoes or sweet potatoes. Personally, I prefer no rice, no potatoes, no bread, just the soup. Yummy, very yummy. Cambodian has this soup, French has bouillabaisse, and Italian has chupino. They are all amazing soup. You can use regular vegetables or chicken broth instead of low sodium broth. Chili is optional, of course. Very small few pieces of chili would enhance the flavor, make this soup exciting. Rice patty herb, also known as simply patty herb, is commonly used in soup. Culantro and rice patty herbs can be found in Asian supermarkets, especially Vietnamese or Cambodian supermarket. If culantro and patty herbs are not available, you can use chopped green onions and chopped cilantro. Traditionally, we use taro, tomato, and pineapple, and sometimes fresh bean sprouts. Add any of your favorite vegetables. Make this soup your own personal soup. Take the skin off taro stem and cut into about one inch pieces. Today, I got great pieces of fresh MSC certified sustainable sea bass belly from my favorite seafood department at Whole Foods. Absolutely fresh and boneless. Freshwater prawn with sea bass belly, sweet and sour soup. My very own personal favorite soup, soup of the gods. Take the shells off, cut off most of the hard shells and leg. Take all the black looking stuff off, but be sure to save all the tamale. That's the orange yellow looking substance in the body cavity near the head. Once you finish all the prep, it doesn't take long to make the soup 5 to 10 minutes the most. Bring the broth to a boil. Take only a few minutes. Add taro stem, then prawn, sea bass, pineapple, and tomato. Looking good. Add fish sauce, sugar, and lime juice. Adjust to your liking. Need a little more fish sauce? Add more fish sauce. Add culantro, peri herbs, and chili. Looking awesome there. Fried garlic is a must have for this soup. The garlic must be fried. Without the fried garlic, this soup would taste flat. Takes only about 15 seconds. Now the soup is ready. Gorgeous soup. I was born and raised in a large family, seven kids, who eat last must clean up the kitchen. When we had this soup, I always volunteered to do all the cleanup just to get a chance to eat any leftover, if any. I hope you made this beautiful, healthy, and tasty soup and enjoy as much as I do. Bon appetit!